Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I'd like to show you how I made this bear girl. I'm gonna show you step by step how I was uh, making each part. We'll make with cotton yarn face, nose and eyes. And also we're gonna make ears. After that I'm gonna show you how I was attaching all the parts. In the description to this video you can find the reading pattern for face we're gonna use uh, white cotton yarn folded in four and we'll use our main hoop 4.5 millimeters magic loop and six single crochet in the magic loop Pulling short the end of the yarn and closing our loop. We'll count that this was our first round. In the second round, we'll be making increases. We'll crochet two single crochet in one stitch. So at the end, we're gonna have 12 stitches around. In the row number three, we'll continue with increases. This time we'll crochet one single crochet and one increase. We'll repeat this pattern six times around. At the end, we're gonna have 18 stitches. One single crochet and we'll put our marker in this stitch. So we'll know where was the start of our round. Increase, so two single crochets in one stitch and continue in five more times In row number four, we'll crochet two single crochet and one increase. Again, repeat this pattern six times. At the end, we'll have 24 stitches around. Putting our marker in the first stitch in this round. And increase two single crochets in one stitch. Repeating this pattern five times. In round five, we'll crochet in 24 single crochets around without increases. In 
In row six, I'm gonna make increases in the next way. Three single crochet and one increase. And repeating this pattern six times around. At the end of the round, I'm gonna have 30 stitches. Three single crochets in the first stitch, putting our marker. And one increase. And we'll continue till the end of the round. And our last round, round number eight, 30 single crochets around without increases or decreases. Face is done and now we can cut the yarn just leaving the end to attach our face, our muzzle to the head. For ears I'm gonna need the yarn in two colors, gray and pink, two hooks in different sizes 4.5 and 2.5 and yarn needle. Making magic loop with gray yarn. And six single crochets in this magic loop. Pulling shorter end of the yarn and closing our loop. In second row, we'll be making increases in every stitch that we have around. So we'll be crocheting two single crochet in every stitch. At the end of this round, we'll have 12 stitches. In this first stitch, we'll put our marker so we'll know where is the start of our round. In the round number three, we're not going to be making increases. We'll crochet 12 single crochets around. Increases in round number four, two single crochets in one stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. We'll repeat this pattern six times. At the end of this round, we'll have 18 stitches. Again, leaving marker in the first stitch, making one more single crochet in the same stitch, making increase and one single crochet. Repeating this pattern five more times. In the next six rounds, from round number five to round ten, we'll be crocheting 18 single crochets around without increases or decreases. I will leave some end of the gray yarn, maybe centimeters 30, and cut the rest of the yarn. And this part is done. For the second part of ear, I'm gonna need pink yarn. I will take two threads of the yarn and I'm gonna use my hook 2.5, chain of 10.
my slip stitch i'm gonna count as my first chain and in the first row i will crochet nine single crochets in nine stitches i'm gonna start with the second chain from the hook Row number two, chain of one and eight single crochets. Round three gonna be the same as round two chain of one and eight single crochets row four in the row four we'll be making decreases so first decrease will be making in the beginning and second one at the end so we'll be decreasing these two loops here these two stitches first we'll go in this stitch and take one loop then we'll go to next one and we'll crochet all these three loops that we have on our hook together with single crochet now i will proceed with four single crochets and again one decrease so we'll go in in this stitch taking a loop in the next one taking a loop and we'll crochet in all these three loops together turning our work and in row number five we'll be making decreases again so we'll be decreasing first two loops first two stitches and last two stitches and we'll crochet one single crochet in between so going in our first stitch taking a loop in a second one taking a loop and crocheting all it together then we'll crochet one single crochet and we'll be decreasing again so taking one loop second one and crocheting all it together after our row number five we'll have to crochet one more row but it's gonna be more like a round because we have to crochet all around this part overall we're gonna have 26 stitches around so we'll crochet 26 single crochets around we're gonna start with first stitch that is gonna be right here in this part so we go in inside and we'll have one single crochet here now we're gonna be making single crochets in every stitch that we have around also in our part that where we have edges so in this part and this one that was a uh, beginning of our chain of 10 and it was the end of our uh, chain of 10 we'll crochet three single crochets in one stitch so just to make our edges more round now we have one single crochet just going in this part second going in here three four so now i made five single crochet in a six stitch over here so in this stitch that is right on the edge 
we'll make three single crochet so it's going to be six seven and eight also while i crochet around i'm gonna, gonna hide this end of the yarn In this part, I will be crocheting in the part that is left from the chain. On the other side I have edge 2, so in this part I will crochet 3 single crochets as well. And now I have 26 stitches around. I won't need pink yarn anymore. I'm just gonna go in the next stitch right here. I will take this loop on the other side and cut the yarn. So now I have two parts of the ear, one pink and one gray. I will place my gray part, the end of the yarn gonna be on the left side. And originally for the pink part, this is considered to be our right side, where you see this chain, but we can need the other side. For us, this side is going to be our right side, where you see a little ribs here. I will take this uh, end of pink part on the other side, using the hook. I will hide this end of the yarn inside. I will find the first row from the end over here. And I will place pink part on the second row. And I will be attaching pink part to the second row of my gray part. So I will attach first this part. And then I'll go around and attach all this part. I will use the end of the yarn that I have left. And I will use a needle for that. I will go inside. Like that. I'm not gonna be tying it too hard, so I want it to be a little loose. But I'm gonna tie my gray uh, second row right to this one right here. Just making sure that I'm not squeezing or tying this part too much. So that part gonna stay loose, but here I'm making a little knot. Going in the second row, I will be attaching this pink part and I will go in every stitch around from my pink row and I will go in every stitch around in pink part in all 26 stitches that I have around I have now two ears that I have just to attach to the head. I'm gonna leave this end of the yarn and I will attach with this yarn ear to the head. With black yarn and hook 1.25 millimeters, we'll be making eyes. Magic loop.
and 10 single crochets in this magic loop. Pulling short end of the yarn and closing our circle, but not all the way. So we're just leaving a little bit of uh, space in the middle. Now we join our round with slip stitch. In the second round, we'll crochet 20 single crochets in the same circle. So we'll be going in the middle here. And we'll be making again single crochets, but this time we'll make 20. Closing this round with slip stitch. And pulling this end of the yarn just to close this circle all the way. Now we'll have to make one more. The front uh, side of our eye gonna be right here. On the other side you see how we can clearly see our chains. We'll be using this side also i'm gonna leave some end of the yarn so later i can attach this uh, eye with this end of the yarn i'm gonna pull this end of the yarn leave it here so i can later attach it to the head shorter end of the yarn i'm gonna turn on this side on the wrong side and leave it like that Nose I will crochet with black yarn too and hook 1.25 millimeters. I will start with slip stitch and chain of two. Row one, three single crochet in a second stitch from the hook. Turn and work on the other side. Row two, two single crochets in one stitch, then one single crochet, and another increase, two single crochets in a last stitch in our row. At the end of this row, I'll have uh, five stitches. One increase. One single crochet and another increase, two single crochets in the next stitch. Doing our work, row three, five single crochets without increases. I am intentionally not making a chain of one in the beginning of the row. Two 
Starting work. Row number four, two single crochets in the first stitch in our row, then three single crochets and two single crochets in the last stitch in our row. At the end of this row, I'm gonna have seven stitches. So one increase. Again, I'm not making one chain in the beginning of my row. And one increase. Seven single crochet in row number five. Row number six, two single crochets in the first stitch in our row, five single crochets and two single crochets in the last stitch in this row. At the end, I'm going to have nine stitches in this row. And one more increase. Turning our work on the other side. Nine single crochets without increases in row number seven. Turning our work on the other side. And again, we'll be making increases. Two single crochets in the first stitch in our row. Seven single crochets. And two single crochets in the last stitch in this row. At the end, we'll have 11 stitches. Turning our work on the other side. And in the next two rows, we'll crochet 11 single crochets without increases. Turning our work. In row number 11, we'll be making our last increases in the beginning of the row and at the end of the row. The first increase in first stitch, we'll crochet two single crochets, then nine single crochets in the next nine stitches, and again two single crochets in our last stitch in our row. So one increase. Nine single crochets. Turn our work. And we'll continue with 13 single crochets for the next four rows without increases or decreases. When all 15 rows are done, we'll make one more row, we'll crochet all around of all our knitting here. We'll start with one decrease. We'll find our next stitch. It's the end of our row. So we'll go in this hole right here, take yarn and have a loop. 
we have two loops right now on our hook then we'll go to our next the end of our row now we have three loops on our hook we'll take a yarn and we'll pull this uh, yarn from three loops that we had on our hook that's how we made our first decrease then we'll have to make one single crochet in our next stitch end of our next row the whole idea of making these decreases is to make our side of our knitting to be a little bunched up when we're gonna be attaching this nose to our white part nose can be a little bunched up on the side so we can fill it with a little stuffing and it's not gonna be flat we made one decrease and one single crochet next we'll make another decrease we'll be making it in the same way so we'll find our next row which is right here we go inside take a loop go in the next end of the row next stitch take another loop we have three loops right now on our hook and we'll make one single crochet with all the three loops next one single crochet we can already see how this part is starting to bunch up next again going in the next row taking a yarn making a loop going the next one and making one single crochet with all the three loops after that we have to make six single crochets And our six single crochet will be making our first stitch, our first chain that we have in our knitting. Then we'll continue with chain of two, turning our work on the other side, and we continue with six single crochet on the other side. now it's time to make one decrease we'll be making it in the same way so we go in and taking one loop another loop and making one single crochet build these three loops then one single crochet another decrease the same way one stitch second and we making one single crochet with those three one single crochet and again we're making one decrease and one single crochet we have to make our edges just a little bit more round so we'll need also making some decreases so right now i'm just gonna go in my first stitch that i have here i'm gonna take one loop from that i'm gonna go in the next one i'm gonna take one more loop and i'm gonna just make one single crochet through those loops next i will be making single crochets and in 10 i'm gonna take one loop and in 11 i'm just gonna go inside take one more loop and i will crochet those three loops together 
and that's gonna be the end of our nose now i can leave a little bit of uh, yarn here so i can attach with this yarn nose wrong side of the work technically going to be our facing part and because we were making decreases on the sides our nose is shaped now when we're going to be attaching it we can just put some stuff in inside and it's going to look like real nose i have all the parts of the bear done now and i can start attaching them I will start with attaching head to the body. You can use uh, either yarn that left from the body or the yarn that left from the head. I already have some stuffing inside. Next, I will attach paws to the body. I already filled paws with some stuffing. It's important just uh, to see that you have the same amount of stuffing inside, so your paws gonna look the same size. Before attaching paws, I have to close my knitting here, and I will be closing them with my yarn needle. My paw, like that, it's a little curved here. So I'm gonna place it like that and just sew it together. And I have to do the same with another paw. So my paw is gonna be right in the middle and I'm just gonna shift them a little forward, attaching them to the second row that I have in the body, right here. And to find needle, I'm gonna use a hook just to put it inside like that. And that's how I know that it is my middle. I have one paw here and another one over here. So they are in the middle and just a little bit forward to the front. And I will attach them just using a needle. So I attached paws to the body and you can see that uh, they are closer to the front. So I little shifted them to the front. So there is going to be front where I'm going to have face and this is the back. And you can see that paws shifted a little. Now I will be attaching legs to the body. They already have stuffing inside. I also tried to fill them in the same way as one as the other one. And I haven't closed those ends here. Okay. And I want to show you how I'm going to close them first. So when we end in our row, it looks like that. So it looks like uh, our yarn is uh, at the back. So in our heel part. And I won't close them this way. I'm just going to fold it like that. So the end of the yarn that I have, it's going to be in the middle of this part. This is gonna go on this side, this leg. Now we have to do the same for the other leg. So you see how this beginning of the row, it's basically in the end of our heel and you wanna shift it. You wanna shift it like that. So it's gonna happen to be in the middle part over here. And this leg gonna go on this side. So I closed both legs. One of the legs, the end is looking a little on the right side, and the other one 
looks a little bit on the left side so those uh, closing that i did they not looking perfectly straight and they are not perfect perfectly lined with the toes so i did it on purpose so when i attach my leg to the body so toes gonna look a little inside like that and for me the perfect part where we're gonna attach our legs gonna be the row where our paws are ending so that's gonna be this part and that's gonna be this row all the way here that's gonna be in the middle and just a little bit forward to the front you can use some pins to attach the legs just to make sure that you're attaching them to the right spot and then just using a yarn needle attach them to the body so basically i'm just lining up them with my paws that i have here let's attach the first one just making sure it's lines perfectly with a paw And I'm gonna leave this end of the yarn just in case if I need for a few more stitchers this end of the yarn and just attaching this one too also you want to make sure that we are attaching it to the same round just making sure it's lines So we attached our face to the head, even though we were knitting perfect circle. We just shaped it a little bit like an oval. Next step, gonna be attaching nose. We'll need a little bit of stuffing just to put inside the nose. We'll be aligning it with our face. So when we align that, we wanna make sure that we'll secure it uh, with some pins we'll secure this part as well with the pins so we're also gonna find the middle and we want to secure it like that before we attach it we're gonna use black yarn that left and i'm gonna start by just attaching this part of the nose to this row gonna make first a couple of stitches and then going around again i'm gonna secure it first i want just to make a couple of stitches and get rid of these pins and also just to put some stuffing inside i can remove first pin here This end of the yarn will hide, and we're also gonna put some stuff in right now inside. Just making sure that we have enough stuff in inside, and we can secure all our stitches. And now I'm just gonna go with uh, sewing the nose a couple of times just to secure all stitches that I have and to attach it to the face more securely. After attaching the nose, I'm gonna make a mouse part here. I'm gonna use the same black yarn with which I was attaching the nose. And for that, I'm just gonna make a couple of stitches. So I'm gonna leave two rows here. And I'm gonna go in this round. And I'm gonna make four stitches. Second stitch in the same place. And two more. Now I can secure this end of the yarn, cut it, and hide the end inside the nose. And now we can attach eyes. So we're gonna line up our eyes in the way we want them to be. So they're gonna be symmetrical. I left those ends of the yarn to make an eyebrows once I attach ears. And now we'll be attaching ears. I'm gonna count four rounds. So one, two, three. And in a fourth, I'm gonna start attaching my ear. I'm also gonna make sure that I'm attaching them in the middle. Also, we want to make our ears just to shape them a little round. I will use the yarn that left from this part. Also, I'm gonna make it a little more round. 
So when I'm going to be attaching it, I'm going to make sure that my ear is a little round. And when I found the perfect place for the ear, when I a little attached it, now I'm just going to work on securing it. One ear is attached and now we have to attach the second one in the same way as we did with the first one, just on the other side. So we count in three rows from the middle part and in the fourth one we'll be attaching this one. Along with that I'm gonna count how many rows I used to attach this ear. So seven rows and I'm gonna use the seven rows over here as well when I'm gonna be attaching this ear. I attached both ears to the head. Now I'm just gonna make eyebrows here. For that I have two ends of the yarn that I didn't cut when I was um, attaching my eyes. And I will be just making few stitches over here and making eyebrows. I'm gonna go through two rounds and we'll make a couple of stitches. On the other side, I'm going to do the same. Then I'm going to secure this yarn and hide it inside the head. We can hide our ends of the yarn inside the body and inside the head. We won't need it anymore. Everything is attached and one seam left. It's just to attach two small beads into the eyes. Now I'm going to attach two beads to the eyes. I'm going to need a regular needle. I'm going to choose a bead. I will need only one bead. So one bead for one eye. It's going to go just inside this little hole. So it's going to look like this hole was made just for this bead. I'm gonna do the same on the other side and now I'm gonna secure this yarn and cut it. I hope this video was helpful for you and I wish you good luck with your project.